It's Monday morning and I've just came to help Dad get this dumper loaded up on the lorry. He's out in the lorry today shifting a few machines. So I've asked him to pick this dumper up for me to take to the Hyundai so I can load up the rock and get on with that later on. But I thought I'd come and give him a wee hand. That's us all ready to go. They're going to get unloaded. My plan for today is to get this big pile of rock into the dump part and cap the road further down there. Um, there's rock down there but it's a bit rough. So that's the plans. Um, there is a bit of rock there coming through which hopefully we'll be able to dig but if not I'll have to stick the breaker on for a wee bit. So finger crossed it'll dig because I don't want to go on a breaker on a Monday or any day. I honestly don't mind jumping between the digger and the dumper um, unless it's raining and then obviously care because I hate getting soaked and then jumping back in the digger and then the windows steam up and it's just a nightmare but um, it's not too bad especially when we short runs it's fine and uh, I get you to get some pleasure and some exercise. That's all the rock down just in the nick of time because it's started to rain so heavy. So we'll get a spread and then get off and get home. Now that it's all levelled off, um, I just like to track it in. Don't have a roller up here, so track it into the next best thing and it binds it all together. It's Tuesday morning and it is not even three o'clock in the morning yet and I'm doing something a bit different today. I'm driving down to Hartford for a presentation course and this is something completely new and completely different for me but it's something that I want to get better in. So my plan is to drive down there and do the course so I want you guys to come with me, maybe you guys will learn something from it too. I'm not really one for doing courses, I tend to try and get out of them or never look forward to doing them to be honest. However, this was something that I wanted to do um, for moving forward and progressing. I knew I had to do something like this to try and get my speech a bit better and my presentation and more, most importantly, to get some confidence um, speaking in front of people. Because right now I'm just in the digger all the time and it is my weakest point and I am le least confident doing it. So hopefully this course will help me out a bit and yeah, boost my confidence. And just like that, that's me finished. It was a, an amazing course. I was totally out of my comfort zone, but I've been taught a lot of good techniques. Denise and Russ at Full Circle Trainer were just outstanding. The littlest things can make a huge, huge difference. And uh, I'm gonna try and take all that on board and hopefully help my YouTube videos. It's been a long, long day. Left it, left it 10 to three, and I'm gonna try and drive the five and a half hours back home. So um, yeah, I'll see how far I get without having to pull over for a sleep. It's Wednesday morning and I am back on my Kubota now. Today I'm at a haulage company. Um, I'm going to do the road in, it's got a few potholes. I've done it before, but today I'm going to take the level right down. So I'm going to put the teeth through it 
scrape it all back, reshape it, and hope that it'll last a bit longer. The problem with just now is whenever I get a pothole, you just keep putting like 10 ton of planings in one hole, so it's building the whole thing up, whereas it needs totally taken down, reshape, and hope that'll make it last. The cracking day for it, so let's crack on. ripped it all up with the teeth and um, there is hundreds of planings in there I would hate to guess how many probably 200 ton of planing or something it's just thick deep so I've ripped it up with the teeth I'm going to reshape it and pull all the excess back because there's no need for it it's just build the road higher and higher and the house on each side are getting lower and lower and all the water's running into their garden so I'm going to strip it back and put a wee kind of shuck ditch along the edge there is nowhere for the water to go but if I take it back into the yard, it can go down into their drainage in there. So yeah, now the joys are tidying up, my favourite part. There we go, there's the road complete. Um, I put a wee verge at one side and took it down. I must have taken about 10 or so ton off the road. Um, it was that high up. So now I've just reshaped it and spread it and hopefully they'll be happy enough at that. Um, there's a roller coming in this afternoon. I've tracked it in a wee bit but there's a roller coming in and uh, I do not will roll it all in. Just time for the lorries coming back. Today is Thursday and I'm back on my Kubota again today. However, I do have something new to try. I've got this brush that is from Tithis. And so I'm going to go and brush the concrete over there and see how it goes. I have never had a shot of a brush before, so I'm excited to give it a shot. That's it all done. I didn't think the brush would work as good as it has, but it's actually made such a good job. Just went behind it with the power washer just to get it extra clean for two minutes until the lorries drive over it. Totally delighted with that. 10 out of 10 um, from Tiffus. I will definitely be using it again. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to be able to park up or get out of here. I am surrounded by a crazy hollow yard. <laughs> And that sums up today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's Friday and this morning I've been back in the haulage yard where I've been most of the week. This morning I was finishing off this area here. I ripped it all up and reshaped it and got rid of the potholes. The sun is shining, which is great because it's going to hopefully bind it all in together. And there's a bit of spring finally in the air. In fact, I had my front window open and it was lovely just to enjoy the sun. My road from the other day is looking absolutely brilliant after a good roll and some heat on it. Well chuffed with that. I now have the short straw of going on the roller. I want to get it rolled before any lorries come in. It's going to be mayhem here Friday afternoon, everyone coming home. So I uh, try and get it rolled before they come and just rip it all up again. Well, that's another job come to an end. And you know the score by now, at the end of the job, I give my machine a wee clean out. Thankfully, um, Campbell's himself are shifting my machine. It's only going two miles along the road to save me taking our own lorry in. They'll do it for me this afternoon, I think. As always, Thank you for subscribing, the likes, the comments and the support in general. I really appreciate it all. Um, I'll see you guys next week. Have a kind of listen. Oh my god, these words are far too good for the driver. <laughs> <laughs>